Hi friends, welcome to Tabletop Tonight. I'm Ruel Gaviola and today we are playing Hickory Dickory. Now, we are a, a team of mice. Now, in a multiplayer game, there's going to be, uh, you know, various players, but I'm playing the solo game today, so I've got my team of mice right here. And it is Lord Cuckoo's Royal Scavenger Hunt. So, what we're doing, we're going to be traveling along the clock because that's what uh, the uh, mice do, right? A Hickory Dickory Dock, jump around the clock, and in a, a really cool... Um, mix of worker placement and set collection we're going to be collecting uh different items here for the royal scavenger hunt and hopefully uh, score enough points now the multiplayer game it's you know most players uh are the highest uh, most points wins but in the solo game we have to score at least 100 points if we do that we win the game but then we tally up all our uh, total score and whatever score that is we're gonna have to beat that uh next time so I, this is going to be my, I believe, my fourth game. I have not beaten it yet, folks. So hopefully y'all will be my good luck. Um, I'm going to explain the game as we go. But basically, we have a team of mice. We have three mice on board right now. We have a scavenger, a scurrier, um, a, uh, what, what's this, a spotter. And then over here, we've got a little scamp. Now, the scamp come, uh, is played uh, is not on the board yet. So we're going to start here now. Uh, and we'll, we'll we'll show you how to, we're going to unlock uh, this um, uh, mouse worker uh, in a minute. So, the, the game is played over uh, six rounds. So, normally in the multiplayer game, it starts at 7 o'clock. You play five rounds, but in the solo, you get an extra round. And um, you'll notice I put some cat paws up here. What are cat paws? Glad you asked, Ruel. <laughs> the cat paws are used to block spaces. And that's, you know, cats and mice. Y'all know they don't exactly get, uh, get along that well. Uh, they're blocking those spaces. And in the solo game, we're going to be rolling this die uh, to move them around as we go. Okay. Now let's um, go to uh, the first move. So basically you can do this thing called tick. And what is it is the tick tock, tick tock. You're just moving the, the um, a minute hand here. If you have any workers uh, at a point at that spot, you're gonna resolve stuff. So obviously this doesn't, so we're just gonna keep ticking. And now we are here. So I am here where my scavenger is. Now I have an option. I can either jump on to the clock and then I'm going to move around and do another action. Or I can jump over here to the outer ring. So we have the inner ring and the outer ring. So the outer rings, you're going to have uh, this um, uh, tile. And these are the items that you're going to deliver eventually, hopefully, to uh, Lord Cuckoo up here. And uh, you're going to go to the spot. This is the delivery spot here and here. And as you deliver, you're going to get points on those. So I'm going to, let's see, we've got uh, this, um, uh, looks like a, a thread, a thimble, or a, yeah, a little spool of uh, thread there. And then this action here, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this tile, and I place it over here. Um, this is uh, each one of these mouse, uh, their little, uh, their little sacks that they're carrying their their items in. Uh, each one corresponds to a different worker. So this is the scavenger. I place it here, and then I'm going to do this action here. What this action says, I can look in. I can go into the bag and grab one tile for free, which I'm going to do because I have no tiles yet, no items. Let's reach into here, and boom! I've got. Ooh, okay, I've got that little uh, leaf-looking thing. Okay, and you notice here this is uh, the hunt board. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. But that's it, friends. That's the end of my action. I just go over here now. Boom! Again, nothing here. I'm just tick tock, tick tock, and tick and talk. So now I'm here with my scurrier. So do I want to jump here and move to another spot? No, not yet. What I want to do is I'm going to take this action. So I'm going to go to the upper outer ring, take this button, and it goes over here. Now. If at any time your workers at, uh, let me get a little closer shot here. If at any time your workers are in the same uh, s spot like that, you can trade uh, freely. So you can trade, uh, you can trade here and, you know, you can place this one here or whatever. But this worker is by itself, so it's going to stay there. But however, check this out. I can move two um, notches on the chain. So this spot right here, folks, this is actually the bottom of the cuckoo clock, but just for the sake of, uh, you know, the uh, video here so y'all can see, I've placed it over here. And in the rules it says, you know, you can place it here or any, anywhere else. The board is actually pretty big. I mean, it's, you know, you're talking cuckoo clock here. It's it's a good size. So then we have our other worker here, this uh, the Scurrier. Um, this one is uh, just uh, flying up here. So you move two spots on the chain, one, two. And you'll no notice the victory points here. Anytime you get to those spots, you will gain those victory points down here. Okay, so the other thing I can do is I can trade uh, two tiles to go to uh, the 
Itsy Bitsy Spider's Market. So you notice Itsy Bitsy Spider. You have tiles here. These are wild. And then these are the different uh, types of things. Now, I only have one to trade, unfortunately. So I cannot do that action. And that is fine. You you just have to, um, I'm just have to pass that part. So I'm here now. Okay. So now we just, we continue the round. Tick tock, tick tock. I think there's an app called that, isn't there? <laughs> uh, the um, cat paw. Now, if I had had a worker here on the on the uh, hand, uh, the minute hand, then I would have to roll the die and move this cat paw um, or somewhere else. But there's no worker, so we don't have to worry about that. We go over here uh, to our friend the spotter. So the spotter, uh, we're going to go here. Uh, we can either jump here and then move along to another spot, or we can go here. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this action. I'm going to jump to the outer ring. I will take this one, and it goes into his little uh, supply here. It says here, I move up one on the chain. So, boom, I've gotten one point. Yay. 99 more points to win, folks. We're getting real close. <laughs> and then here, I can turn in a tile to look for two tile to take two tiles and this is the cool thing with the um uh, uh what, what's his name the spotter let me take a closer look at this put it on the screen here the spotter if you'll notice his uh their special ability is when you look in the bag for tiles you always take an additional one um and then you're going to take the additional one uh you don't keep it but you get a choice basically so i'm going to take that so i've got i've moved up one the chain uh, one on the chain got the point and then i'm going to look in the bag it says here i turn in one tile turn one in and i get two but because of the spotter's ability i'm gonna get three and then i i keep two out of the three okay so there's three i've got a couple of dice and another spool of thread so which two are am i going to keep now here's the thing as we go we're delivering uh to we're going to make the deliveries up on this spot here or this spot here um you're going to deliver those and those are going to give you points based on what color you have what symbols you have and like the majority that you have um we'll i'll go a little more depth into that but at the same time and this is what i love about this game very simple uh, straightforward mechanism but very of uh, some really cool ways to score so not only you get the points for these you're going to get points at the end of the game as you fill up your hunt um, board here. So every time you deliver ones that match your board, you can place there. You get points for um, columns and rows. And then on top of that, these quests, folks, uh, the quests are anytime you turn these in when you deliver, you're going to get bonus points for these quests because Lord Cuckoo likes quests, apparently. So if I turn in this uh, spool of thread and this button, I'll get five points. Uh, these here, now these are particular uh, certain colors. Uh, these with the rainbow, that means they could be any color, okay? And again, we had, don't forget the wild uh, tiles there over there at the Itsy Bitsy Market. So which two am I going to keep? Now, I'm going to keep the die for sure because I can use that to fulfill that. And also, if you notice here, on my hunt board, I have a die as well that matches that color. Um, and, the, you know, for friends, uh, who, players like me who are colorblind, having the little thimble is just a, such a small thing to, uh, to place, but so helpful. You know, you have these, you know, certain colors look similar to me, but if I have symbols, I know the diamond is different than the teardrop, which is different uh, than the little leaf thing and, and so forth. So kudos to Plaid Hat. I always appreciate it when companies uh, add the colorblind icons to help. Uh, so let's see, I've got a die here. Um, and I've got the spool of thread here and also another die here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place the spool of thread and then this will go back in the bag along with this and then mix these up. All right. So that's that turn. And then we just go ahead and keep ticking. The, cl the time keeps moving, friends. Boom, boom. It's the end of the round. So now we chirp. We go chirp, chirp. <laughs> <laughs> this is a funny thing, folks. Uh, check out Rodney Smith's video on Watch It Played. He did a really clever thing on Chirp. I'm not as clever as Rodney. But what Chirp is, uh, it's just a reminder of what you do on the end of round cleanup. So uh, first, the C for Chirp is Cat Paws. So you're going to move the Cat Paws. Uh, I'll start with this one first. I just roll the die. And I go to number four. And that's going to block off number four. Okay. Uh, now, if uh, let me check. If the paws place a space with a mouse, it scratches them. So this one gets scratched and by the uh, cat. So I go over here to um, my scavenger um, mouse and I have to discard a tile. Boo earns. That is a bummer. Uh, so I'll discard this one. I could just go back in the bag. And then we roll die for this one. We're going to move. Uh, to number nine, and that goes, oh man, 
Wow, that really hurt me. So now number nine, uh, this mouse, uh, the spotter, has to lose one as well. Oh, that's a bummer. So we'll lose this spool of thread. All right. So we've done the cat. That's the C. The H is for hour. So the hour moves to seven o'clock. Uh, we play until midnight, by the way, folks. We've got five more rounds. Uh, the I is inner ring. Uh, um, you move uh, from the, uh, anything from the outer ring back to, back to the inner. Uh, so this one, inner ring, inner ring, inner ring. Okay. Um, and then do I... Uh, i got to make sure I, I do this right for the um, mouse, uh, for the solo variant. Yeah, the solo variant is a little different than uh, the standard game. So whenever a cat is placed on a space with mice, it scratches them, and then mice um, on the inner or outer ring move to the next non-covered space in the same ring. Do not claim tiles. Okay. Um, mice on the minute hand. Okay, no, there's no mice on the minute hand. So basically, this goes to the outer, right? Okay. They cover that is right. Um, let me check. Roll the cat die, which we did. Whenever a cat paws place on a space with mice or on the hand or on clock, even if it was just there, it scratches them, discard one tile from each mouse. That, and then mice on that inner or outer ring space move to the next non-covered space in the same ring. Okay, so they were going here and then they are going here. Okay, easy enough. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so now we continue. We are going to... Uh, so we did inner, that's I. Now we do the R for refill. Uh, we've refilled. Oh, I forgot to give myself a favorite uh, card. What I, what you're going to have, you're gonna, this is secret in the multiplayer game, but in the solo game you can uh, watch with me. Uh, you have a favorite card, you can do this in addition to any action on your turn. Uh, this one I just pulled randomly says, I can trade in any one tile and go to the mark, Itsy Bitsy Spider's Market. So at the Itsy Bitsy Spider, you can get either a wild tile or you can get any two tiles here that are there. So that's cool. I'll leave that there to, um, for later. Uh, so then we refill. Um, this doesn't need to be refilled because I don't buy anything. But this spot needs one. Uh, let me mix them up a little better here. This spot needs one. Okay. And then this spot needs one. All right. So all spots have been filled. There's none here. This is Lord Cuckoo's spot. And then finally, the P. So we did uh, Cat Paw. We did Our Hand, uh, the H. Uh, inner Ring, um, I. The R for Refill. And then the P for Priority. Now, in the solo game, we're not using the Priority. Basically, what this means, Priority move, would move here. And then this, you know, gives priorities what mice would come off the um, clock first and so forth. But luckily in the uh, solo game, we're not worried about that because we're just, we are literally just playing solo. Okay, so let's continue with the game. Um, we're going to move here. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, cat spa, but uh, there's no um, mouse there, so we just ignore it. Now, I'm here. Um, I can do, let's see, I can take this. Oh, this one would be nice. Okay. And then uh, this, if I go over to this guy, uh, this guy has this one, so I could take that from him. Ooh, okay. All right. So this is interesting. I can go here and then deliver next turn, which is um, always a good thing. Or I can continue. I can just start. I'm going to use this guy since he's got the, the biggest bag to hold things. I'm going to concentrate on getting um, tiles. So we're going to go here, take this outer ring action, you know, take this into our bag. And we're going to do this action here. This is get a new favor card. So this one, at any time during my turn, I can either uh, move up three. Ooh, maybe I'll do that right now. Three up the chain. That'll get me a couple of more points. Or I can use this when I deliver as part of uh, this thing here. Um, so I can deliver. It's You don't put this on your board, obviously, but you could use it to complete a quest. But none of these are calling for this quest. So I'm just going to use this right now, friends. This is. I'm going to move this. I'm going to use this immediately. You can use it on any part of your turn. Three steps on the chain. One, two, three. Hey, another two points. One, two. Now, once I get to the top of that, um, I'm going to move this up and I'm bringing this back down. And then I'm going to score nine points. And then I move it the next time I do it, seven points and so forth. So I've got one, two, three more spots to go. Then I reset and I get those nine points. So that's cool. Okay, this gets discarded over here. Uh, that is that mouse's turn. So good job, scavenger. Scavenger McScavenge. Uh, we continue. Tick, tick. Okay, now this guy, uh, this is the scurrier. Uh, this he's got an interesting power, so he can jump onto here. 
onto the um, uh, 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 the minute hand, and I'm going to uh, grab. I'll show you here on the on the rule book what um, he does. So the scurrier, when a scurrier jumps or is bumped off the minute hand. Now, bumping off, that happens in the multiplayer game. Um, you know, when a uh, mouse goes onto the board here or onto the minute hand, sometimes there's not enough room, so you're going to bump them off. But here in the solo game, we don't have to worry about that. When a scurrier jumps or is bumped off the minute hand, it can jump normally or it can lead to leap to either one of the next two outer ring spaces. So normally, when they jump off, they go directly there. But with the scurrier, they have an option to go up to two spaces there. So very, very cool. Okay. So, mm, I will go here. Oh, do I want to go here? Because if I get this tile, I can go here and grab two more tiles. And I get two bumps on the chain. Oh, that's pretty cool. But if I move one here, I get a favor. So, okay. So, this this guy, the scurrier, was here. You know, I am going to take this tile. And I'm going to do this action. So, I move two up the chain. One, two. So one more, and then he's going to come back down and score nine points. And then I can turn in two tiles to go over here. Um, do I want to do that? I Let me see. So I've got, basically got, no, two of the same type of tiles, but different um, colors. I can get a dice. Um, so we have a spool of thread. Need the button. We need at least one button. Oh, this button would be better, though. Because that matches the color here. Oh, this one matches as well. But, okay, well, check this out. There's a relic here. This relic would be nice, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these two in. Why not? Take Turn these two in. Now, when you go to the um, Itsy Bitsy Spiders Market, you either take any of these two or you take one wild. I'm going to take two of these because I'm going to take this one here. Scurrier. And this one here, the relic. There are three relics here when you deliver so normally you deliver your items here or here okay by the way these uh um action spots folks there are some that are preceded like this one number 12 will always be up here but then there's a, a bunch of other ones where you're going to shuffle uh shuffle them and then distribute them randomly so no two games will be alike um normally for items you're going to drop them off here or here but well for the relics you're going to drop them up here straight to lord cuckoo okay so but they are worth five points each, which is which is huge. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So I'm done with the scurrier. Uh, so we go ahead and do our tick tock, tick. So there are no knives here, so we don't do anything with the cat paw. Now we go here with the mouse, uh, with this mouse, the spotter. Um, oh, this actually works well because then he can go here and look for exactly what he needs. And the next turn, he can go here and deliver. Okay, we're going to do that. So we're going to jump to the outer ring. We're going to take this button. And we look over here on our board. The button, that particular button does is not here on the board, which is fine. Um, and it's not the one we need here. But what we're going to do is go here. And with his special ability, we're going to grab an extra one. And then choose one to keep. Oops. Forgot to drop these in here, too. Okay, one, two. We've got... A die and oh we've got another relic okay that is nice i like that the relic so we're gonna have two relics folks um okay now this guy has one relic but this guy could get a dice and that die well he's got one die here this die is needed up there oh man i sort of want that relic yeah there's only three in the bag so we're gonna take that relic and then put the other one back okay and we go tick, tick, and the hour is up. Let us continue to the chirp or the end of the round. So chirp, C, cat paws. Let's move them. Start with this one here. Uh, number seven here. Okay. So this gets bumped over here. And then number five right here. This one gets bumped here. Okay. Uh, H for the hour hand. It is now eight o'clock. Uh, inner ring. We move all these to the inner ring. Sorry, I did there. Uh, refill. Let's refill stuff. So we refill these two here from Itsy Bitsy. Okay. Uh, you never refill the wilds, by the way. Those are that's what you see is what you get. Um, oh, and then we also I forgot we have to scratch um, both of these. Oh man, cat. So we scratch um, this guy here. Um, man, oh man, what's on board? We've got a bunch of those. We don't have any of these. Okay, we're gonna scratch this one and then this one. Well, we got to keep the relic. That's what we kept. Okay. Scratch, scratch. 
Boom. Okay, so they've uh, gotten scratched. Darn cat. Um, okay, so we refill. We've refilled those. We've got to refill the board, too. Okay, mix this up. Let's see what comes out. There's that. There's that. And there's that. Okay, and then we... Priority. Move the priority, but again, solo game, we don't worry about that. Um, let's continue on to the next round. Taking tick, 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 tick. Now here is this guy here. So we could deliver one. I, I really don't want to deliver one. Um, what I could do though is perhaps deliver two of these. That would be nice. Um, yeah. And folks, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm, I'm actually recording this live on Twitch and my friends in chat have, re have reminded me how unlucky I've been with these uh, cats. Uh, apparently, it's only a 25% gain scratch, but I've been scratched twice already. So, in, in the uh, words of, well, uh, y'all remember that song, Cat Scratch Fever? I'm not a fan of the uh, the artist, but I remember uh, the song from back in the day. Um, okay, so, oh man, do I deliver now? Because I'm going to get this one. I could, okay, here's what I'm going to do, folks. I am going to, okay, so we are going to do this. I'm going to take this here. And what's cool is you can do it in any order. You can take or you can do the action first. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, add it to the mouse here. And then I'm going to use, remember this, this action here? I give up a tile to go over here. Um, I'm going to do that because can I, let me see, this one needs that. I don't have that, but I do have, oh, uh, okay. But I can go up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give up a tile, which will be, um, we'll give up the feather. Okay, the feather, and I'm going to take any two here or a wild one. What should I do? Do I, I'm going to take, I'm doing a two for one, basically. I'm giving up this tile to grab two of these. So I'm going to grab this one here and um, something that will go on the board, basically. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so we discard that. Done with that. I'm going to put this one back in the bag. And then we move on to this action, the deliver action. Yay, first time I can deliver. So what you do, the mouse that's there, you go to the sack and you're going to deliver. And what this is, is you're going to score points for the tiles. So uh, this thing here, let me throw it on the screen real quick. I'm going to show you how to score. Score points for all delivered um, item tiles. Um, uh, the relics are not included in a delivery. So relics, so we don't have those. Uh, the other mice have those. So first of all, I get one point for every tile. Okay, let me take this off. One point for every tile. So I've got three tiles. I get three points. One, two, three. Now, I got one point for each item in the largest symbol group. So if you notice here, I've got two spools. So I get two points. One, two. And then finally, you get one point for each item in the largest color group. Uh, so each of these are a different color. So you just get one point because they're all equal. Okay, so I've scored that. And um, now let me get this off here. I've done that. I'm, I'm done with the turn. So the good job, uh, Mr. Mouse. Now, I've delivered these friends. They're going to go to my hunt board now. So again, number a closer look at the hunt board. Uh, really neat recessed uh, little board here. Just take the ones that match. You're going to place these wherever they match. Okay, so I've got uh, this one here. And I've got this one over here. And at the end of the game, uh, you know, I'll take this off this close up here. At the end of the game, all the ones that are filled up in rows and columns, per row or per row or per column, five points each. So another nice little spatial puzzle to add on to the set collection and worker placement. I really love this combination of um, uh, mechanisms, friends. Okay, so that is our friend, the uh, uh, scavenger. That's his turn, their turn. Uh, then we just click on over click here if there was a mouse here then we'd have to do something but luckily we don't i've been unlucky enough as it is okay now over here to our scurrier friend what are we going to do we can get a you know i like those favor cards so we're going to stay here and take that action so we go here take the button and then go here and take this action get another favor card uh this one oh okay so this is just like the uh, little scurriers action you get to move up to one or three spaces on your move or um you can use this to complete a quest that needs this particular type unfortunately we don't need those there so we'll probably use this um movement here so could i go one two three 
Huh. Well, we'll leave it there for now. Okay, so boom. Tick, tick. Okay, now to our friend, the um, spotter. I want to deliver. I want to deliver this. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to take this outer ring. So on your turn, I've been doing a bunch of just, I've been just taking the uh, outer ring movements. This time, however, I'm going to jump back onto the clock. So I'm going to go here. And what you do is, oops. Actually, this is good. I'm going to get a zoom in a little closer here. So for a two-player game, you're going to add this spot here. And then for a three-player game, you're going to add this um, here, like this. However, in the solo game, you add both of them. So there's a, it's going to control how many workers can go on here. And when I jump back on, if there was another worker there, it would be full. Now, you'll notice the... Um, scavenger one he actually takes up two spaces so someone might be bumped off there okay but i bump i've jumped back on the clock so we continue with our tick our tick tock and tick and now i'm going to jump off so let me make sure i'm doing this right so i've activated the minute hand i'm going to uh jump off i'm going to activate the mouse so i can either stay here or jump uh or jump to the ring and perform the action which i'm going to do so i jump here and i'm going to take this um here and then hey this is the deliver action uh, zoom in real close that's the deliver action they just like this one here there are two on the board so we're going to do some delivering folks um this uh, our friend here so we take this here and once again we're going to look at the majority here so actually as we noted here this is a relic that is not delivered there we have to go to lord cuckoo's spot at the 12 o'clock hour so this one's gonna stay here it's not gonna be delivered but we're gonna deliver these here um i'm going to deliver this one okay let's let's do this we do the large the number of tiles there's three tiles so one two three uh though now they're all different colors different symbols so we're gonna get one point each for those one and one Okay, but now we get to put, place these on board. This die goes here, and this spool goes here. So I am one away from getting five points at the end of the game. Unfortunately, this button, folks, has to go away because it's not um, not on the board here, so it just goes back in the bag. Okay. All right, so then we're done with that, and we click over here, and it is the end of the round. We do the chirp, the cat's paw. Let's see. Um, we, I, I've been pretty bad, uh, pretty unlucky with this. Let's see where the cat paws goes this time. We've got number two. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I forgot about the scamper. We got to get him on board. Then the next one is a seven, uh, so it just stays there. All right. So next part is H. Move the hour, nine o'clock. Uh, the inner ring. Uh, we move um, our mice there, workers, and then our refill. So we got to refill two there. What's up? Yeah, I'm so surprised I didn't uh, roll uh, the cat's paws the way <laughs> I was expecting to roll. Okay, add those. Oh, and then we refill around the board. Okay. And uh, then we priority. We, we don't have to worry about priority, thankfully. Um, we didn't do any of these. We're good here. I'm going to hydrate. And then we're going to continue with our next round. Now, uh, we are going to go, let's see. Tick, tick. Now, I forgot about this guy. I'm going to be honest. I, I should have picked him up earlier. This is our friend Scamp. He is off the board. He's over here. I need to go there to unlock him, basically. So we're going to go here. No no mice here, so the cat spot does not trigger. Okay. So I need to get off this space. We're going to uh, place the scavenger onto here. And you'll notice the scavenger takes up um, the entire spot there. Okay, the, he's, he's he's got his extra, you know, big bag, so it takes up a spot. So now let's continue with the tick here. And now we've got the cat spot, and we're going to have to roll the die and figure out where that cat spot goes. So goes to number nine. So let me get this out of the way. Number nine gets covered up. Um, and then, let me see. So I don't get scratched. Um... Do not roll again if cat let's get the uh the rule book out again slight variation on the solo variant excuse me on the solo rules minute hand roll the cat die if that number is rolled place the paw there and do not roll for that paw again if all paw, cat paws move away the mice on the minute hand will activate so i can go here 
Uh, I don't have anything here. So this, I could move up twice on the chain, which would be nice because then give me some points. But then I can't take advantage of this where I, I would do two tiles to go to the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So maybe I want to hang out there for a little bit. Uh, oh, I can do this where I can jump. Let's, ooh, let's show you what that is again, folks. We'll get the book here, make it official. So the one to three, it is a special um, action on the card, which allows you to uh, leap forward to one of the next three ring out, outer ring spaces. So if I use that now, one, two, three, I can search there and get some more, get um, more stuff. I Man, I like that chain because I mean, where's the next chain? The, oh, the other chain is here covered. So I can't even do that this turn. But if I do it now, even though I don't get to go to the market here, um, I mean, I'll get this. And yeah, you know, what? we're going to do that. So um, he jumped on here. Now he's going to jump off here, takes this in the sack and then moves up to one. So I've gotten up to the top. So we just reset to the bottom. And then this gets me nine points. And I cover that up because the next time I do it, it's source seven. So nine big points up to 23 now. Cool. So that's that. Then we click on over. Click. Um, the scurrier. So what's the scurrier have? Oh, this is the one that wants to get up. You know what? Let's deliver. Let me see. So this, this our friend here is going to deliver next um, the relic there. But this one, uh, do I want to stay here? You know what? Yeah, I do. Here's why. I want to stay here. I'm going to do this action. Go to the outer ring. Grab that. And then get another favor card. Because those are really cool. Oh, yeah. You know what? Perfect draw. So this uh, one here, get a little closer look. This is our friend Scamp. Scamp is up here, and uh, Scamp is on the board. So we can either use this to get Scamp uh, on the, um, bring him in the game basically, or we can use this to complete a quest. Uh, so we could use it to help that, but no, we're we're bringing our friend Scamp. Come on, Scamp. So we're gonna use this, and what you do when you uh, basically is doing this action here, the Scamp action. Activate your Scamp. Place it on any non-cap pot outer ring space so we're going to take them off here and then going to go anywhere and trigger that ability ooh, 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 ooh. what do we want to do can do okay anything with the tiles wasted because we only have two spots for tiles and we don't have we don't have anything to go here so uh non-cat spa so we can go here get a, another favorite card uh go here look at tiles um now, what tiles are out here that do we need? Okay, this one we can use. Uh, this one we could not use. Can we use this leaf? No, but we could use it here. Okay. Okay. We need to. I, I need to really focus on trying to get some of these um, uh, mice together so we can start doing some trades and get them all lined up. Because that would be nice to get these two on the same page to deliver um, at once. So that might be something to think about. Okay. We go here. We get this tile, which we do need. And we get a favor card. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go here. A little scamp. Uh, get, get this. Place it there. And then get a favor card. Uh, ooh, this is two up of the chain. And this is using this to complete one of these here. So uh, you can have, oh, this is discarded. I don't want to mix those up. You know, I'm going to, no, these are the ones I have. Okay. Right. I know I use this to move up the chain. Is that right? No, 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 no. What, what am I talking about? I had, these are my two favorites. So these are the discarded favorites. These are supposed to be the discarded quests. And I'm going to leave that die there. So I don't um, forget. Okay. So that is scamp. That was triggered by our friend. Uh, where was that? Uh, off the saver card so we click over here tick 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 uh this one here do i want to deliver this uh no i don't i don't have anything to deliver with um the spotter so spotter is going to jump back on then nothing else to do we tick so this is going to be the end of the round but i'm at the 12 spot so i'm going to jump off and i'm going to deliver this relic straight to lord cuckoo and that is five big points so up to 28 okay and then you notice here uh, that's been five points. And then, oh, do I also get a favor card? I forgot about that part. Let's check the rule book here. Um, 
yeah, drawing a favorite card for each relic that I deliver. So I've delivered one, so I got one relic card. There, okay. Now I do have three. I believe the limit is two. Uh, let's check, uh, let's um, make sure about that. Draw a favorite card. Um, never hold more than two. So if you ever draw a third, you must immediately discard one without effect. Oh, that's a bummer. You know what? I will discard the one I just drew. Okay. So this, let me put this back here. We're going to discard that. And then now at the, um, I was going to, let me, let me show you again. I, I should have left it on the board. Not only do I get the favorite card, but I get to jump one to three spaces. Okay. So what space do I want to go to? Now I can't go here. It's got a cat spot. So I go one. This would be two because you skip over that or three. This I think I'll go to um because it has i can go to the market yeah okay so we're gonna go one two three um okay so i'm there for the next round cool 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 so 12 o'clock the 12 hour uh, 12th hour has struck so we do the chirp the end of the round cleanup so cat pause let's well so this one first number seven. Oh man darn it number seven has to give up a tile it's been scratched and they move over here and then let's roll again for this one, number eight. Oh, what? Really? This is the worst luck. They've been, oh my gosh, they scratched both of them? So this scurry, the scurry one, oh, I, I cannot believe that. I'll, I'll bump this one. Oh my gosh, these cats. Okay. All right, so uh, let us continue. Oh, so that was um, Cat Pod. Now the Hour Hand, we're at Hour 10. Uh, inner, uh, move everything to Inner Rings. I refill stuff, so. Whoops. One, whoops. Oh, skip, forgot to move from the Inner Rings. Two, three. Uh, that's all good. That's all good. Um, and then priority, we don't do the solo game. And um, we need to bump these mice here. Thank you for the reminder in chat. And again, we're recording this live, folks, and chat really looks out for me. I appreciate y'all. Okay, so not only do they get scratched, but they move, they get bumped to the next open spot. And uh, we, we continue. So let's tick, tick, tick. Uh, this is our buddy, the... Um, spotter so do i want to take this and give it up for two i think i do because i can are there any leaves so if i get this leaf here hmm i can also move oh you know what i want to do uh let me see if i do this one here so this has that that has that leaf i can get a leaf and a dice yeah Huh. Oh, I'd have to get a wild. So basically, I take this to get two. Um, get one of those. I can get both of those. One of them would go here. Um, maybe I can do... Or if I jump back on, I can go over here and see if we can meet up with a friend. Our friend Scurrier would be here. He could give me those. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to jump back on. So I'm going to activate this by, instead of going to the outer ring, I'm just going to jump back on here. Take a little ride on the clock. So tick, tick. Okay, now we're going to activate this. So do I want to stay? Do I want to stay? Should I stay or should I go now? Do I want to get this leaf or this feather? there's a feather here and then we could get a favor now this feather this one here i can move one to three spots this one i feel like i should just move up the chain anyways Ooh, that would be nice oh no i can't because the cat paw is blocking it darn well, this one has a one so we can go okay that's another point um hmm this is, okay, what do we need? We need this one. We need a button. Where are the buttons? Okay, this button here is the one we need in order to complete this quest. So how can I get this guy over there? Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to jump off here. Take this. Uh, that is this mouse here. Take a favor. 
Um, before I take the favor, though, I'm going to do this so I, you know, I don't have to discard something. I'm going to take the two on the chain, so one, two. And then now I'm going to take that favor card. Um, ooh, I can get another one here. And I can trade. Ah, okay. Here's what we're going to do. I am going to take advantage of this. I'm going to get one from uh, the bag here. And because it's the spotter that's doing this, uh, they get to take an additional one. So I'm going to, or they get to look at an additional one. And do this here. Okay. And they're the same. Okay, so either this or this, we're going to take this. And we discard this. But now here's the thing. Because these mice are on the same portion of the clock, the same part, they get to do some trading. So what we're going to trade is, I'm going to give this, uh, these are, we have our scamp and we have our spotter here. I'm going to give the feather. Yeah. Who has, does anyone else have a feather? No. That feather doesn't go anywhere on there, but this button does. No, the button doesn't. But the, the feather could be used here. Okay. We'll give Scamp this one. Okay, now Scamp is here. I'm going to elect to put Scamp back on here. Now, this one's already done. Um, spotter. So now we just click. 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 Now, we have a mouse here, and then we have a cat paw. So we roll to find out where it's going to go. Number five. Cat paw. What? So am I going to get scratched again? Darn it. Um, if cat, yeah, scratch, he scratched, so this one goes back in the bag. Darn. Okay, and well, that's, I'm pushing my luck. I, I could stop, now I could jump here and take this, ooh, I was really trying to deliver these over here to hang out with my friends, but I, I sort of want this two chain now. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to jump off. So I'm going to jump off here, take this one. Oh, okay, so I'm out of room here, so I just discard one of my choice. So this, um, okay, this this one and this one I need for the board. This feather I need for the quest. Uh, there's another feather there. So how can I make this happen? Do I take the feather? Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'll leave this here. Okay, that goes back there. But now I can do this. Oh, I could. Okay, I'm going to do this two chains. So one, two gives me another point. And then I can turn in two tiles to go visit here. So these two tiles, I can switch for two other tiles or I can switch for one uh, wild. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, was I supposed to bump the spotter as well? Yeah, this one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So that one goes there. Um, now this one we're still resolving. Do I turn in two tiles, two items here? So I can get this one, the spool, or I can get the die. So the die would help here. These are rainbows, so it could be any die. Um, mm, yeah, I'm gonna get that die. Uh, which die would be best? This die doesn't have to go on there this die okay i'll take this die and get rid of uh this button so now i have two of those three all right so that guy's done I'll put that there there and we click on over we don't do anything with that cop paw now we have uh, um something to decide so if i take this action here twice with these two different workers i'll move up here get another two points but Let's see, we have this guy, it's this guy, and the scurrier. The scurrier um, could deliver this. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to be doing some trading. So right now, we have the scurrier, this one, and we have the scavenger, this one. So... Um, Which button is this? This is this button here, which is, we don't need this button. Oh man. Yeah, this, oh, I really want to take that. 
this but there's a different button here now i could get a wild that might be the way to go no okay here's what we're gonna do i, I was looking at the market i can't even do the market but i could do this i can move up to three spaces away yeah so this guy could go and then maybe yeah okay we are going to take on we're going to do this action first so we're going to go here to the outer take this button our scavenger uh, we're going to go move up one on the chain and then we're going to give up one tile to take two out of the bag but again with his ability oh no is that no that's not his ability that is all oh, those spotters okay yeah you know what i'm going to gamble i'm going to get rid of this one to take two from the bag There's one, and then there's two. This one goes back in the bag. Okay, so I've got a feather and one of these. Can I, oh wait, it's this one here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I can give them a feather, and then do we do a delivery? Are we gonna do delivery? I could deliver, because that would get the feather on board. Oh no, that doesn't, no, we don't even need that. This feather, no. These are basically useless. Darn it. Okay, well we did that. What we're gonna do now, not totally useless, because, yeah, we're gonna deliver this one. Okay, so this, the scurrier is not gonna go take that action. They're gonna jump back on board. And we do the tick tock, tick, tick, tick. Uh, so when you're now in the Lord Cuckoo spot, and we're going to deliver a relic, second of the three relics in the game. So five points up to 34. And then we get a favor um, based on number of relics. So that was one favor. Okay, so, oh, this is a cool one. So this one, let me explain what this one does, friends. So this these arrows, when you do a trade, normally, you know how we've been doing the trades, you have to be in the same spot. If you use this you would treat another character as if they were in the same spot. So I could be over here, you know, and let's say I wanted to trade. I could just trade with whoever if I use this. So that's a good one to have. I will keep that for now. And then now I've done that. Now I move up to one to three spaces. Uh, this is the scurrier one, right? Okay, so we have this. There's, there's no button uh, that we need. This will give me three on there though. I could trade one in for a wild, which is always nice. Yeah, maybe we gotta do that. Okay, we're gonna go three. One, two, three. All right. And uh, that's the end of the round. So let's do the chirp, 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 chirp. C for cat paw, we'll do this one first. Uh, stays on number five, this one's second. Uh, goes to number six. It was a number six. So that goes here and our friend gets uh, scratched But nothing there so it doesn't lose anything. So he just moves over there. Okay, uh, we move the hour hand So we got one more round left. Uh oh, I don't know how I like the look of this uh, and Then we go to the inner ring everyone moves to the inner rings Okay, and then refill stuff. So we got to refill over here Okay, there's that and then we refill around the board there and there and there okay and then we do priority but again we're soloing it so far and let's continue so one two click tick 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 wow um i have to do some deliveries folks uh you know i am in big trouble here so what i can do is it's this scurrier right here i can do this one. I can. Okay, I can get a. I can give up a tile for a while. That'd be nice. Or I can get this one for two. That'll give me that. The feather. 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 Who has the feathers this guy has the feather this guy has a feather and this guy just has nothing so how can i want to get the feather two feathers and a die to him 
if possible. Two feathers and a die. So there's a feather there. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go here. Take this feather. Uh, that's to this one here. And then I'm going to turn in this feather for a wild. No, no, we got two feathers here. One, two, and we just need a die. Okay, so basically, if we could somehow get all these here to deliver. Okay, okay. We're, we're, we're all right. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Um, hey, you know what? I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn this in for a while so we have a little flexibility. Okay, that's that. So I click over. No mice there, so that goes over. Now we're here. Let's do some trading. So these two, we have the spotter and scamp can easily trade. Um, so scamp is going to get, or we're going to give scamp, or scamp is going to give the spotter these two. Okay. Now spotter is going to use this ability here where you can trade with anyone on board. We're going to trade or, you know, basically you can rearrange. I shouldn't say trade because you can rearrange as you want. You're going to rearrange with this one here with our friend Scurrier. I'm going to give um, uh, Spotter this here. So right now we're doing, let me make sure we're doing Scamp. Doing this, uh, Scamp had done the trade. And then let me get this ready here. Uh, so one, two. And then we're going to give... Um, Let's give Scamp this one. No, we'll give it all here. Okay, so we've done all that. So let me get rid of this. And then we are going to, so we've done our, uh, our rearranging. Now this could go up to get another two points and we turn into, Um, you know what? We're going to, let me see. Can I, can they both bid on? They can both bid on here. Um, one, two, three. This guy has, okay. We're going to, you know what? They're going to both jump on board here. One and one. And then we're going to click over, tick, tick. And then we are going to use this one here to go here to take this. Now, do we want to trade anything? Can we trade? Let me see. Uh, or rearrange. I, I should let me use the correct terminology. Scamp would need this one and this one. So they're all in the same area. So they, we can start doing trades. So this goes here or rearranging. And this die, and this feather. Okay, there's two feathers. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. What's up? Um, feather, feather. Let me see. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. We're done. So that now we go here. Move up one chain. Get two points. Up to 36. And then we trade one for two, basically. Um, let's trade one uh, for two. Okay, there's that and that. So this guy's done, but these guys are not done. Um, we are going to go click, click, and then they're both going to go off. So we're, we'll start with the uh, spotter first. Going to get this, and they're going to deliver. So we're going to deliver two feathers and a die, and these are rainbows. They can be any color. Two feathers and a die. Actually, we're going to deliver all of them. But what we're doing, okay, let's let's do this one, one at a time here. So first, we're going to score four points because we have four tiles, so up to 40. Then we score the most um, of the one symbol, so one, two, three feathers, so 43. Then the most of the color, so we have two of these. There are two of each, so we just scored two points. And then we look here, we've completed this quest here. We have two feathers and one die, any color, seven points. So 52, yay, grab one of these 50 tokens. Uh, this is done. And then we put these on board. 
Uh, this one is going to go... Oh, we oh, those feathers don't go anywhere. Darn it. But this die goes there. Oh. Oh, that, that hurts. Okay. That's a bummer. I forgot about this card here. You, I could totally have used that. No, I couldn't. It didn't match there. Okay. Uh, so none of these feathers are... Oh, man. That, that hurts. Okay. But that's okay. Uh, so that guy is done. Now we go here. There's no tile to take. So we just go to the action. We're going to deliver here. So we're going to deliver this spool of thread and a wild. Uh, now, when you're counting, you still count the number of tiles. So two points. And then you count for the color and the symbol. So this, since, uh, since it's wild, it counts for two of the spools and then two of the colors as well. But now, um, and then what's cool, you're going to put this here. And then the wild friends can be placed anywhere. Again, you cannot rearrange these, but I can place it there. So I've completed a row and a column. Very cool turn. It, it took me forever to get there. But uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, all my uh, actions are done. We click over here. It is the 12 o'clock hour. Um, we do, uh, well, we're going to do a cat's paw, a cat paw. So I'll, I'll go through the things here. So well, number one. And oh, and then I also get the five points for delivering. Forgot about that. Uh, thank you. 13. So that is done. Okay. So, and then we roll for the other cat paw. That goes in nine. Uh, this one gets uh, scratched. Goes there. Okay. And now um, the. Well, we, we do the refill and stuff, but it, this is going to move here. And since it moves to the midnight, the game is over. Ugh. Unfortunately, oh man. Well, here's the thing. Uh, wait, let's do final scoring. And I, I should show this off too. Uh, this is really neat. So they also have an app. You just um, use this QR code. It'll let you, it helps uh, tally up the points. And I just happen to have that app right here, folks. Um, let me pull this here. Uh, so... I've already scored everything here, but now you go to the uh, tiles that are left over, and you do the same thing scoring-wise. So here I have two tiles. So I have uh, this tile here and uh, this tile here. And then you just... I got five points because I got one, uh, two, uh, two points for there, and then one here uh, for the color, and then two points for the symbol. So two, two, and one is five. So I add that to five here. Uh, 18. I have scored, unfortunately, wait, let me make sure that's it. Uh, end game score, I'm pretty sure. Oh man, I, I did even, I did worse than I did before off camera. Uh, so, oh no, I, let me, I forgot this. I have to score five points for every column, five points for every row. So I have one column, one row. So that's another 10 points, uh, 18 to 28. And are there are any ways, uh, I, I, anything else I scored. So I, I scored those for that. I did the, my uh, final item tiles, and uh, that is it. So I have scored. I did not win. I scored 78 points, folks. I need 100 to win. But, oh, my goodness. What a game. Thank you for joining me. I have a, I really dig this. I, I think it's such a wonderful worker placement game. Worker placement games are my favorite. Um, so this one, I think it flows really smoothly. I really like uh, this element here of being able to move, you know, going from one spot to another that you want. Uh, now, I will say this. I, I think it'd be better. It's going to be better multi-game, be, multiplayer, because you're going to have those times when someone's going to bump you off. So you get bumped off, you're going to have to go on certain things. The cat definitely had the best game. Uh, they, they beat me up. They scratched me a lot. Uh, unfortunately, but oh, it was it, it was a lot of fun. I, I really think this is a clever mechanism. I really, really think this is so neat. Now, again, in the multiplayer, instead of uh, six rounds, you get five starting there. But I do like how this goes around, and you can jump off at any point. And I mean, it is it's so good. It's a nice blend of you have the worker placement, almost like a rondelle where you're moving around, right? Uh, then you have your set collection. You have you know the quests and stuff that you can do. So. I, I didn't complete quests till the very end. Um, and then you also have this here, the spotter, where you, um, I mean, the, um, uh, I forget the name of this uh, this mouse, but the one that's going up on here, and then you can get all the different points as well, that, almost like a race. And there you go, that is Hickory Dickory. Uh, be sure to click the link below in the show notes for more information on the game, and thanks to Plat Hat Games for the sponsorship. I appreciate it, and I will see you later.